Hey guys, it's Nathan, and welcome to Hale. So, my semester of school has been going great, and it's been busy. To give you a little update on my life, I am currently without a high-functioning movie editor, so I'm using what I can at the moment. I've also been very busy, so I've had no time to make videos. However, during the month of October, I wanted to keep track of all the Halloween movies I watched because I had plans to talk about them at the end of the month. So that's what this video is every Halloween movie I watched in October. I watched a total of 12 Halloween movies, most of which were first time watches too. Here they are, starting with the others. Technically, I watched this one at the end of September, but hey, it was a great lead in into October. This movie is the earliest memory I have of horror films. I remember being a kid and seeing my parents watching it, and yeah, it freaked me out. Through the years, I've watched it for mere entertainment, and honestly, this movie is so great, guys. It has a lot of similar vibes to the 1961 film The Innocents. Nicole Kidman is so great in it, too. I haven't seen too many movies with her. In fact, I've seen 10% of her filmography according to Letterboxd, but of the movies I have seen with her, I'd say this is my favorite performance from her. The only competition that comes to my mind is her performance in Moulin Rouge. If you guys haven't seen this movie and you don't mind watching eerie films in November, definitely give it a watch, or at least add it to the October watch list for next year. The Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know if you have a feel-good movie list, but Nightmare Before Christmas is definitely near the top of mine. Every time I watch this movie, I am amazed at the, the animation, the characters on the screen, the story, and everything everything else really. I just absolutely love this movie and it's a given movie that I make sure I watch every October. Halloween. My cousin and I were wanting to watch a scary movie so we went with this movie and it was fine. There were definitely some very cheesy lines in the movie that made us both call them out but there were some things I liked about this one too. I loved the modernized Halloween theme. That sounded super cool actually and I also love the references it made to the first movie. Overall it wasn't awful but it wasn't anything amazing either. The Addams Family. So I had a job at the local movie theater at the time of seeing this movie so I got tickets for literally one dollar and I don't think I'd be willing to pay anything more than that for this movie. I knew going into it that it looked awful, but I just really wanted to get into the Halloween spirit, so I saw it. And yeah, it wasn't anything too good. Very childish humor and pretty dumb gags. I laughed a few times, but overall, it's pretty forgettable. The Vanishing. So my friend Jackson recommended this movie to me. I had heard about it from the Criterion sale. In fact, I even debated buying it once, but didn't end up going through with the purchase. The fact of the matter is that this movie is very scary. At at least the ending is. I'm not here to spoil it, so don't worry, but if you want to get seriously freaked out, watch this movie. I think what's scariest about it is that it's actually super realistic, which freaks me out even more. The Addams Family from 1991. Coming off of the 2019 Addams Family, I wanted to watch a good Addams Family. And oddly enough, this was actually the first time I saw this movie. I had seen clips from this movie and its sequel throughout the years, but I've never sat down to watch them all the way through. And I can honestly say that I loved it. It's definitely screaming the 90s, but I also love that about it. This movie actually kind of reminded me of the Brady Bunch movie from 1995 with some of its humor. Speaking of which, that humor is amazing. There are a lot of funny lines from this movie. There are some dumb ones too and some pretty dumb scenes, but overall, it's a really fun movie and a good Halloween one too. Following the Addams Family, I wanted to watch Addams Family Values, and so I did. And I seriously love this series. I'm so sad it's taken so long for me to watch them. They are classics. I think this one may even be funnier than the first I'm not really sure. They're kind of like Home Alone 1 and 2, where they're both just really good. But, I mean, of course, they're not perfect movies, but they are perfect Halloween movies. I love all the characters, especially Wednesday Addams. She's hilarious, but, I mean, I think everyone would agree with that. And Christopher Lloyd as Uncle Fester is amazing. His facial expressions are so funny. I also love the whole summer camp plot in this movie. Like, any time the movie cut to Pugsley and Wednesday at summer camp, I knew I was in for a treat. I then watched Mickey's House of Villains, and I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. It was on Netflix and I wanted to watch it to go down memory lane. I got the VHS for this movie for my 6th birthday and watched it so many times when I was a kid. It's a fun movie that's basically just a collection of Disney Halloween shorts, except to this day I don't quite understand how the Goofy Fairy one is Halloween related at all. And so, yeah, that there's that. I then watched Freaks from 1932. I'd heard about this movie from a YouTube video that ranked the scariest scenes from black and white horror films. It showed a certain clip that totally interested me in seeing this movie. And overall, this movie was actually really sad. It's also kind of corny, but the ending is pretty creepy and very unsettling. And while I'm at it, it's pretty shocking too. Like, jeez, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I mean. Next up, I watched Carnival of Souls, and I wanted to like it. I really did, but I was honestly pretty disappointed with this movie. It was just so cheesy and the acting was horrible. Now there were definitely a few solid shots and some even reminded me of the Twilight Zone, but overall this movie was just way too cheesy 
It definitely has that cult classic feeling, but for me, I just thought it was very dumb. Next, I watched Eyes Without a Face. The plot to this movie is very twisted, and so as you could imagine, the movie itself was very twisted too. I have a hard time liking these kinds of films because while I reward them points for being successfully scary and disturbing, they're movies I don't ever want to see again, so I'm not sure if it's really accomplishing its purpose for me personally. And finally, on Halloween night itself, I saw Night of the Living Dead from 1968 for the first time, and I'm not gonna lie, I was actually pretty disappointed with this one. I think I was expecting it to be a B-horror movie that's just super cheesy, and while it is pretty cheesy, it ended up being actually pretty graphic, especially for a 60s film. I did like the first few minutes of it a lot, uh, it just kind of felt like your classic monster movie, but everything after that I wasn't very invested in, and so for that I would give it a 6 out of 10. Those are all the movies I watched this last October. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to leave your comments below on what Halloween movies you watched and your thoughts on any of the movies I talked about. Thank you guys. Have a great day.